charge here with my team. Oof. Knock it right over that tiger. It don't really look over there anymore. I can turn my eyes back towards this tiger to rage. Put the round right through his man with there. Here the bombs come in. The pop out here. Lucky Panther's looking down at my base. I just roll out and pop him in the head there. Barrel? Barrel. Alright, we're safe from him. Oh! What's going on, guys? Highlander Gamer here. Today I've got two videos in the IS2 Revenge. One uh, stream from my live stream, and one I had to record in the replay because I wasn't expecting anything uh, coming out of that uh, session I was playing with. As IS2 Revenge may not be uh, what some would consider the best premium vehicle, but this is by far one of my favorite premium vehicles that I have in my arsenal. Uh, the 125. Ooh, excuse me, 122mm D25T cannon has 205mm penetrations with its uh, BR671, BR471, 471, and 471 Bravo, 205mm up close. At this uh, battle rating of 6.3, that means most of the times you just have to kind of point and click and you will bust through and absolutely havoc on any crew inside any of the vehicles you come across the angles uh that you want to kind of keep your armor at here is i would consider about the same as what you're looking at for the tigers kind of shallow say if i were to be looking at this guy i would keep it about right there you want to be very careful with your cheeks if you tourists here that's the easy spots for them to punch in and then if you let you can see here if they catch this angled part just right, they'll punch through almost any time. So we are a little uh, squishy for a heavy tank, but if played right, we can definitely make it work for us. All right, without further ado, let's jump into our videos for today. Sick, dude. They're already on A, holy hell. Woo! Repair this real quick. Where's the dude capping A? Oh, come on, let me get out of this ally. The artillery ally. Let me get out of this already. Wish you luck, Taga. Got that. I'm gonna come over here, start playing around. Dude, right? He was impatient. Smoking somebody there. Oh, are you looking at me? Oh my god, yeah, you were. Got stuff all over us here. Yeah, the Doom Turtle. Oh my god, he's still watching right there. Hi, you little shit. Come back out here. Oh, that's that IS2 I'm hearing. Barrel? Barrel. Alright, we're safe from him. Oh! From where? 
Oh my god, he was like right to my left. I didn't even see him. No bombs, no bombs. T20, what on earth are you doing here? Yep, yeah, wasn't uh wasn't fast enough to save the tortoise, fortunately. Okay. Not exactly the vehicle I would uh I guess my first choice here, but Gushka through him, but I don't want something stupid to happen. I'd be really upset if that M42 got a kill on me there. What you got back there, dude? charge here with my team. Oof. Knock it right over that Tiger E. Brutal. You just watch them lemming them their way into a meat train here. Don't need that. Fair enough. Have a good day. Right. Is that P95 Doom Turtle? So, Brent was actually the first uh, nation I played. But that's because uh, when I came from World of Tanks, Britain was my main uh, nation there as well. Sometimes the turret slewing on this thing is insane. Save that PT-76. Woo! Heinkel 111 dropping hate over that way, dude. Okay. We had that T-26, I believe it was, whose barrel I took out. I don't think I've seen him die yet. I don't think I got an assist, so he should be over here. I don't like that, the way that rubble looked. Here, man. Listening. There's so many different engine noises I'm trying to hear. Right, dropped him as well. Out of here, I think something's behind me. Something's like right on the other side of that wall, I believe. Oh, barely got that reloaded in time. Let's go. Woo!
at this point, I realized my entire team is here with me on this one, right? And so I started to look for a uh, new way to go. Find somewhere that I can that benefit my team and sit and all up in a lemon train here. Keep an eye out. I figured there's more than just that tiger that was on that embankment there. Uh, taking an eye, scanning. Never got an eye on that national, but I do catch that M36 right there. Takes around in the side of the turret. I don't know how damaged she is there, but I just pull out, finish the job there. Realistically, his uh, gunner loader uh, was most likely dead. I did not actually uh, recognize that at the time, though. There, I noticed that Nashorn, seeing if I can't get around on it. But IS-2, 22, 24 second reload time, something like that. Just sitting there, waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally get the shell up, had it loaded. I think, unfortunately, he just gets killed right before I uh, my round contacts him there. I press out. I noticed that other Nash one. Thankfully, that Nash one either did not notice me or immediately got uh, hit and could not do anything about it. Had that round not came in when it did, that definitely would have ended uh, this life here. So I take advantage of him retreating. I pull out onto a B point here. I'm kind of looking around. Not sure where everything's at, but I know where I was supposed to be expecting people. So I'm looking and I sketch that Tiger 2 right there. Tried to get him in the ammo. Uh, unfortunately, the round went just a little high. Bad penetration. So then I back up out of his guns. He realizes he got shot. I don't think he quite saw where I was shooting him from. So I'm just going to kind of pull up out of his range. He's getting to cover, which is smart there. It looks like he's also contending with that M36 B2. I'm kind of taking a look around, making sure I don't have anything. Uh, peeking those alleyways down there. I see my friendly blue, that's the ARL-44 pushing down, so I am pretty confident that I don't need to really look over there anymore. I turn my eyes back towards this Tiger 2H, put the round right through his man with there. Here the bombs come in, back up just in time, utilize that IS-2's uh, excellent reverse gear. And was up at Charlie Point calling for help. He was the only one there on Charlie's getting pushed by uh, the tank destroyers, I believe a German Bulldog would be there, and some Panthers. So I try to make my way out to him there. I'm looking, he's called it out. I can see on the map where it's pinged. I see he just got killed. So I'm just kind of look and see if I have any eyes on anything else trying to help him out at all. Coming up there because I realize that uh, the C is still captured. And then he called out that bulldog right there. So I'm racing, 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 trying to get there in time. Unfortunately, I'm just too late as he is taken out by the German bulldog. See the bulldog poke out. I get a little bit of vengeance from my squad mate there. Now I figured no point in sitting on B since that's where the entirety of my team is. Looking at my map as I'm driving drunk. Running into solid concrete there. Don't mind that. Pushing up to C. Realistically, watching this back this way. Uh, I probably would have paid more attention to C, but it's I, it is not a bad idea to be covering that hill. But with where my teammates were on the mini map, I probably could have assumed uh, that my right angle there would have been safe, and I was trying to focus more on the actual point here. Uh, you can see in this recording there was a Panther G there. Out, yeah. Right there you can start to hear his engine, and that's when I notice it. So I start looking around, paying more attention forward. I see this M41. I tried to ping the map and let him know, but he was just, just driving around, heard her not paying attention, right into the enemy Panther. But, on the uh, plus side, that let me know exactly where that Panther was. I knew he, it's from the sound of that shot and how quickly he exploded. He basically went face first with that Panther. So, I don't have any other engines. I put the position of my barrel. Get myself in position to pop out here. 
lucky. The Panther's looking down at my base. I just roll out and pop in the head there. At this point, I see them out in the fields there. I don't immediately recognize that as their spawn, uh, so I am going to take a couple shots here, maybe two or three, trying to get some. I realize what's going on and decide to drive off here. Take a couple shots at this Panther D. I remember I was having a hard time actually penetrating him. Yeah, I keep hitting that mantlet and absolutely getting soaked up by his gunner sight there. I hear a couple, yep, a couple planes coming in. I don't know what happened with my vision there. But he didn't drop bombs on me, so I just kind of ignore him for the time being. Come back to... I'm really just absolutely tunnel vision on this Panther D at the moment. Alright, take another shot. And I do. I punch right through his front plate there, take him out. At that point, that's when I looked at the map and was like, oh, realizing I'm shooting guys in their spawn. I get it, it happens, it's part of the game, but not really the thing I like to do. I'm trying to get uh, this BF 109 G2 with my Gushkas. No can do. So at this point, I know I just realized my entire team's gone now. At uh, that was at B point. So I do a quick look, see if there's anything uh, spawned for me, and then I just try to make my way back to B because I assume that the B point is going to be taken here. Try to call out some uh, squad pings for my uh, squad mates. since he was going to stay up on a C point there trying to snipe. I don't believe he had any luck, unfortunately, but... We we're rolling back towards Bravo Point. I'm now sitting on two base captures and five enemy kills. 2,029 spawn points, or score, I believe that is, not necessarily spawn points. I'm rolling back. I see I got some uh, friendlies on the far side of the, the chapel there, so I'm not immediately concerned, but at the same time, Bravo is actively being taken, so I know he has to be sitting right where that explosion just happened there on the other side of the chapel. So I'm going to push him out. I assume he is fighting with, I believe that is an M51 on the other side of the chapel, and then I see this tiger poke out. He, for some reason, didn't see me. Easy kill. I'm going to... I then decide to start pushing, but right as I do, the panther gets knocked out. So I think about my life here, figure out what would be the best position for me to be in to safely capture B and prepare for where I assume all these enemies are coming from. And I recapture, no, oh, no, not quite, getting ahead of myself. I believe I'm, yeah, I'm definitely hearing some other engines here. I have a good idea of where they are, so I'm just kind of preparing myself, hoping nothing comes down that angle because I am, uh, it comes down that alley because I'm holding a poor angle to deal with it. Pulling out because I'm hearing getting pretty close, just like I thought. I see him somehow put the right through the uh, cheek of the turret on that Tiger 2P, get the ammo hit, and take him out immediately. I pull out of that arty because the last thing I want to do now is get killed by arty. And I run to the building to try and get out of that BF 110's armaments. See the bomb drop? Thankfully, it was a bad drop. I just kind of pull forward, stay with that explosion. And now I'm reloaded. I can still hear another engine down this alleyway. So I prepare to deal with it. I take a little cheeky peek. I don't see anything. Another one. All of a sudden, there he is. I just roll out, put it right through his face. Now in here with three base captures, eight kills, 3,094 score. If I had checked, I probably could have uh, spawned the uh, nuke at this point, but I wasn't really aware of what was going on. I was so caught up in the moment. I just take out this quick panther, back it up onto the base again. At this point, I think I'm they got my team's going down those alleyways probably safe here then i take a look at the score real quick i think that's when i realized yep i have enough for the nuke so i'm j out and here we go the nuclear tu4 coming in 
immediately the first thing I recognize as I come in here is there looks to be a ton of enemy air up so that immediately gives me uh, bad feelings but you don't get any glory by being cautious you know so I just straight in there try to keep it low uh, build up as much speed as I can here some I don't believe at this time that I any of the aircraft are actually spotted or scratch that of course they weren't spotted I had seen at least three of them uh, but I do believe there's actually one yeah one currently at the airfield and I believe one more is going to spawn in here so I started getting pretty close I believe at this point is when uh, my squad mate Kemdar notified me that the air raid sound was going on and you can see all of the enemy aircraft start coming towards me this BF-109 he's getting really close he's gonna try to uh, save the game for his team Luckily, I managed to pull out, barely es uh, escaped getting, uh, barely escaped getting pilot snap there. Let the bomb down, unfortunately, right on top of my squad mate. And that's that first of my excellent game of the IS-2 Revenge. Uh, great, great fun. I sh was, like, physically shaking for easily 15 20 minutes after pulling this off. It was one of my best games uh, I've had since I started picking up. What's going on guys? How are you game here? If you like that video, please subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like, what I can improve upon. If you want to see more of that content, you can catch me live on Twitch Monday through Saturday at Highlander on this last bit for you for the day. Again, thank you for watching.